Hey everybody, thank you for joining. Today we're going to talk about Ethereum and the Ethereum Grayscale Trust and what it means and how you can use it in your retirement funds or if you don't have access to buying Ethereum directly, does it make sense to buy it with Grayscale? And you can buy this same trust all over the world. I've been in touch with people who bought it in Korea, Malaysia, Indonesia, Australia, UK and other places. So it is possible to buy it, but let's jump in. Uh, money's in the math. You guys know me by now. Some very interesting findings in this video. The other thing that I just want to share with everybody, a lot of people want to kind of get rich quick and everything else. But one of the things that I've learned in my life, love what you do. If you find something you love doing, you will really enjoy doing it. You'll be very motivated and you'll be very successful. So on that note, I love doing this. So never been happier. Thank you everybody for all the support. On that note as well, an interesting thing happened. I just blew through 10,000 subscribers in basically three weeks. So a big thank you to everybody. This stuff is really taking off, not like I expected. But as a little quiz, I have this uh, cap I designed, brand new, untouched, uh, really comfortable. It says Bitcoin, just hodl it. And I thought it'd be a fun play on words instead of just do it. So I designed it and created it. I will ship it to anybody in the world that makes a good comment that's both funny and determines where in this presentation I've arrived at a mathematical coincidence, okay? So stay focused for that, so it'll be a lot of fun. Let's try and make this as interactive as possible. Again, comments below. Speaking of comments, you guys all know this by now, just one second on this. I am active in the comments. I'm the Black Bubble Invest Answers. Anybody without that black bubble, ignore them. A quick forward as well on technical analysis. I have spent some time over the last week watching all these TA people screaming into their microphones, screaming into their computers, saying, oh, head and shoulders, top, crash, get out, you know, alarming people. And other people saying, oh, I just made six Bitcoin, which is, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in minutes on one trade. It's a lot of it is crap, maybe all of it's crap. So just be very careful. Try follow people that are just a little more stable, a little more sound, a little more experienced. I've been doing this type of stuff for 30 years. So not saying I'm an expert or a genius, but you've seen from some of my trades, I know what I'm doing. Speaking of that, MicroStrategy exploded today even higher. It was another 100 bagger just in the result today on that original position. Okay, so watch out for technical analysis scammers. And the reason I say that is TA is good, but it has to be one of your arsenal of tools that you use in your tool chest when you look at the market. You cannot do everything based on TA. Watch out for hyperbole. Look and learn what these pumpers do. You've got people pumping Bitcoin and they don't even own any Bitcoin. You've got people saying they sold out of their Bitcoin at $20,000. Just don't take the bait. Be careful. Also, technical analysis does not really work all the time for things like Bitcoin because it's a supply and demand story. If you know anything about it, it's all about the absolutely scarce supply. That's what drives it, not technical analysis. You look at money flows, you look at chain analysis, that's what's critical. And other thing as well, a lot of people have very small positions in some altcoins. I, as you know, focus on Ethereum and Bitcoin. I like to focus and back the winners, not the tertiary players, which are very high risk. Let's jump forward again. So Ethereum, why Ethereum? Basically, if you know anything about technology, the best protocol takes all. That's a little bit of a rhyming set of words, but it's true. You look at things like mar auction marketplaces like eBay, search engines, of course, like Google, etc. car manufacturers like Tesla, the winner takes it all, all right? I believe Ethereum and their smart contract capability will disrupt many industries. Speaking of many industries, I'm going to do a separate session on the banking industry because I know a lot of you want to know both my background and second of all, what I think about the banking industry that's actually happening right now. So I will do separate videos on that very soon. But really, Ethereum has the wherewithal to disrupt many industries. Jump into the Grayscale Ethereum Trust right now. It is not a stock. It's a grantor trust. It is regulated. So enough on that. You saw my last video. So the question is, how do you get exposure to Ethereum without holding it directly? The answer is this. The ticker for it is ETH, E-T-H-E. But how much should you own? Very important. Let's talk about that. It does have a tax advantage. You can buy it in retirement accounts to defer taxes. I don't necessarily support things like trading. 
uh, because I don't want to incur big capital gains, especially in the state of California right now. However, I do trade in retirement accounts and I'll talk more about that later as well. So what to watch for? A couple of things. Just watch for the gotchas and don't be surprised down the line. And there's some really interesting analysis coming, so stay tuned. Owning Grayscale is not the same as owning Ethereum, but it is a function of Ethereum and there is a premium for it. Just like before, I'm going to break that down, exactly what that means. So unlike the GBTC has a 2% annual fee, this Ethereum trust has a 2.5% annual fee. Not sure why it's different. Also, what's important to note is the number of Ethereum per ETH shares is 0.01028680. So when you do the calculation of exactly what that means, you look at the total number of shares outstanding, the amount of ETH per share, the current price. You can very quickly calculate the ETH cost per share as of the making of this video is about $14.82. The amount of true ETH you get per share is $12.60. So today, the premium is 14.97, call it 15%. However, it's very important to notice this, that premium fluctuates greatly and I'll show you exactly why. It'll be part of the conclusions as well. So let's, as usual, go deep into the numbers. Now, I hear a lot of people focusing on the wrong things in the comments. People tend to nitpick and really not focus on what matters. And if anybody is familiar with the old expression, penny wise, pound foolish, this is the point I'm trying to make. You hear people saying, oh, I'm not going to buy that because they charge a 2% fee. Who gives a damn when you can make 12, 15, 20% a day? It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. So I love this little picture here. You've got somebody trying to plug a small hole with a gentle leak when there's a much bigger leak out the back. So again, use that to put things in perspective. Focus on the big picture. Focus on the money. Focus on the math. And then you will be fine. Now, the other thing that I like to do is look at the relationship between Ethereum and Bitcoin. Now, you've seen this. If you've seen my videos, you've seen this before. But uh, I created a polynomial function as a function of the actual ratio between Bitcoin to Ethereum. OK, I believe based on this polynomial trend, it could hit 25 to 30 in the next 12 months, which means if Bitcoin, Bitcoin goes to $100,000, Ethereum could hit 3,300 to 4,000 per coin. This is possible. And it's especially possible when you analyze exactly how Ethereum works and the whole positive feedback loop. The more people building on Ethereum, the more DeFi running on Ethereum, more valuable the Ethereum is. As I always say, Ethereum is the oil, Bitcoin is the gold. So hope that sinks in some numbers there but let's jump ahead and go a little bit deeper so the other thing i like to look at is ratios between different things now what's very important is if you see my older videos i spoke about ratios and i always look at the 40 to 1 this is the historical ratio of ethereum to bitcoin so this historically on average has been about 40 ethereum to every bitcoin so basically if bitcoin goes to $400,000 in the next five years, Ethereum theoretically should be at $10,000, assuming that 40 to 1 ratio will hold. So that is coincidence number one, in my opinion. So if you want to see my price prediction videos, please check them out. I've got three of them up, one on Ethereum and two on Bitcoin. But let's look at Ethereum returns. Ethereum began in August 2015, and you can see during its very short life, it's been very, very volatile. You think Bitcoin's volatile? Well, this is next level. So if you look at that spike, it actually hit nearly $1,400 intraday back in 2017, and it has not reached its all-time high yet of $1,400. However, Many expected to do that real soon. In fact, there were some people with YouTube videos today saying that their technical analysis said it was going to reach $1,400 today. So it's an example of watch what you listen to and who you listen to and do not necessarily take their information as gospel. Now, another thing, the returns sheet, analyzing the same thing as I did before with, with Bitcoin, I looked at all of the average price per year every single day of transactions and calculated the average gain based on the average price per year per year, which means in 2016, 
Ethereum went up 937%, 2017, 2000%, 2018, 115%. 2019, you can see it took a big hit because it went so high in 2018. 2020, it went up 70%, again, based on the average prices over the year. And 2021, so far, we are up 261% which is staggering, again, based on the average price per day per year in 2020. Some people get bogged down on this, but that's the way I look, like to look at numbers. Now, if you like to look at the 1st of January price every year, you'll see a similar set of numbers, 761%, 9,000% in 2018. That was represented by that big spike I showed you in the graphic. 2019, 81% down, 2020 down 7%, and 2021, up 492%. So again, you got to take an average of these, but the average return of all the years that's been in existence, and it's not a long time, five full years, you can take my model, the average return is 585%, and the January 1 price, the average return is 2000%, heavily skewed, of course, by that 2018 result. So I hope you're tracking with that, but uh, it's important uh, to know. So most importantly, though, is to look at the price predictions. I did a detailed analysis of all the price predictions from many analysts, and they're all high summarized here in this chart, but please check out that other video. The future is bright if the price predictions are right. Oh my God, I'm really rhyming today. It's crazy. $8,000 is possible to cycle. You've got people like Raul Paul thinks $20,000 is possible, but $8,000 is more conservative. That means through the year end 2023, it's feasible to go up 6.5x from here. But expect a very bumpy ride. And also, I believe there's a lot more risk with Ethereum than Bitcoin, but if they do pull off that whole DeFi story, there's also a lot more upside. Remember, the best protocol wins, and that will change the game. So let's jump ahead and look at the charts. This is very, very important as well. The ETH, Ethereum price versus the Grayscale ETH Trust three-month chart. Some very uh, interesting things here. First of all, it tracks horribly. Ethereum is up 223% over the three-month period, whereas ETH is up only 130%. So timing is everything. I'm going to hammer that home to you all today. Timing is everything in life and especially in investing. Let's look at the one month chart. It doesn't track at all. It is catastrophic. It's almost criminal what's going on here. Ethereum is up 108%, but ETH only went up 4%. It's totally lagging. So what does this tell you? Does this tell you I wouldn't touch this with a 40 foot pole or does it tell you there's opportunity? Let's dig a little bit deeper and jump into the conclusions. So conclusion number one, the question I get a lot is, ETH and ETH, how many do you need to have a million dollars by 2025? So these are the questions I always ask myself. If we assume conservatively the 2025 price is $8,500, i.e. they become the protocol of choice and they disrupt the financial services industry, I reckon today you need 118 ETH. Now, what does that translate to the Ethereum trust? That means... You need 11,400 shares, which would cost 169,000. Okay, hope everybody grasped that. So you need to have a million dollars by 2025. You need 118 ETH, the coins, or 11,400 Ethereum Grayscale Trust shares. Conclusion number two, ETH does not track well. Always check your timing. And I put together a video. A lot of my videos are arbitrage related, like all my micro strategy stuff was, my Ethereum Christmas Day video was, but also check out the playing the gaps video. That's very, very important if you're trading this stuff as well. Again, timing. Conclusion number three. So despite the two and a half percent fee and the tracking being off, the premium right now is only 15%, which is not that bad at all. And I do believe Ethereum will outperform the S&P 500 over the next two years. Not investment advice. None of this is investment advice. It's just my observations. And my personal ratio of Bitcoin to ETH is 85% Bitcoin, 15% ETH in my cryptocurrency portfolio. I will be sharing as well my breakdown of my holdings across Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all my derivatives at the end of this series. So stay tuned please subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my stuff is coming out. Some of my stuff is also very timely for the market. Now, the one thing I want to hammer home is conclusion number four, timing is everything. Literally, watch this stuff very carefully. 
it's critical to making more money. So please, if you like this, hit the bell, subscribe, hit the like, get active in the comments. If you want to win this to celebrate my 10,000 subscribers, I will mail it anywhere in the world to the person with the funniest comment and the person that identified the two mathematical coincidences in this video from my other videos. Okay, thanks all.